Hello and welcome, Keria. How are you feeling after this easy win versus Cloud9? 오늘 아주 쉬웠던 그런 승리에 대해서 소감 한 말씀 부탁드릴게요. 어, 일단 오늘 신하인이 아무래도 지금까지 보여준 경기력도 그렇고 연습 경기에서도 굉장히 좋은 모습을 보여줘서 이제 충분히 저희가 엄청 잘해야 된다고 생각했는데 이제 저희가 엄청 잘해서 이렇게 좋은 경기력으로 이길 수 있던 것 같아서 기쁜 것 같습니다. So based on uh, C9's recent performance at Worlds and based on the scrims that we have been seeing uh, from them, I feel like we were trying really hard to make sure that we're not ahead of ourselves and make sure that we're prepared for today's match. And we worked really hard and we actually did give our best today uh, in, in the match against them. So I think that's probably why we did so well and I'm very happy about the results. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I wanted to ask you about the composition you ran today, because this was a very aggressive T1 with a lot of focus on the early game. Was this specifically designed versus Cloud9, or is this something you pursue on during this Worlds? <laughs> 어, 했던 것 같은데 이게 약간 C9 상대로 전략이었을까요? 아니면 이번 롤드컵에서 어, T1이라는 팀 자체가 이렇게 준비하고 있는 그런 절, 전략이 맞는지? 음, 일단 저희가 이런 식으로 계속 전략을 준비하고 연습 방향성도 자꾸 하고 있었는데 아무래도 대회가 계속 진행되면서 좀 잘하는 팀들이랑 대부분의 팀들이 거의 저희가 생각했던 방향성이랑 다르게 흘러가고 있는 걸 보고 아, 저희가 틀렸나 싶어서 좀 그쪽으로 따라가다가 좀첫 경기, 두 번째 경기 좋지 않은 경기력을 보였던 것 같은데 아무리 생각해봐도 저희가 준비했던 거를 일단 확신이 없더라도 더 해보고 정해는 게 맞다 생각해서 일단 그리고 충분히 확신도 조금씩 생기고 있는 편이고 그래서 오늘 해보고 해봤고 그리고 연습 방향성도 그렇게 다시 잡고 있는 것 같습니다. So at first, yes, this was actually the strategy that we were we had in our pocket um, from the very start of Worlds. And after the uh, after seeing what was going on um, at Worlds, uh, we started doubting ourselves, and we decided maybe this isn't the direction that we want to go. Uh, maybe the the direction and the strategy that other teams are utilizing is the answer. So I think that's why you saw us be a little shaky in our first two get uh, matches. And I believe that now we're just going back to our roots and saying, hey, maybe we have to be more focused on what we know the best. So um, the, the, one, the strategy that will work the best for us is the answer. So I think we're just going back to um, focusing on the, uh, the, the initial strategy that we wanted to do, like the, the aggressive picks. Um, and I think we're trying to find our color and really trying to find our direction back to back on track and maybe that's why we're seeing such good results so far. And I just really wanted to ask about your specific pick in that match. Uh, about Bart, obviously, this was your all-timer during the DRX days uh, and I'm very excited for you to bring uh, this champion back. Do you think that uh, Bart might be uh, a one-time wonder during those uh, worlds or maybe you, uh, you think that he will actually be coming back and he will be played more, not only by you, but maybe by other supports? What are your uh, general thoughts about Bart right now? 이제 오늘 캐리아 선수의 픽이었던 바드가 화제가 되었는데요. 바드라는 챔피언을 지금 어, 오늘만 쓰는 그런 챔피언이 될 건지 아니면 어, 이제 롤드컵 마무리하면서까지 계속 나올 픽이라고 생각하시나요? 음 지금 메타상 나오는 챔피언들 상대로 너무 다 바드의 장점이 드러난다고 생각해서 음 충분히 계속 나올 수 있다고 생각하고 충분히 계속 나올 수 있다고 생각합니다. So just from the support meta currently, I feel like it actually enhances the strengths of Bard. So I think that's definitely a viable pick that you'll see for the rest of Worlds. Okay. Thank you very much for the translation and thank you very much for the interview, Keria. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.